the end of the Maimer, the very last page, answering the final questions, uh, answering the original questions, finally, I should say. So he answered why it says, Asher Tishmu, and not Im. Because the Torah uses the, the Loshan Im, either if it's talking about Torah, keeping Torah and Mitzvahs, as in, as in, Im B'chakoy Seitei Leichu, or V'hoya Im B'koy Loi Tishma, which is Avedah Satshuva. So each one has their own, their own choice. A person could take the path of Torah and Mitzvahs and not need Tshuva, or Tshuva. But here, the Pesach covers both grounds because the Pesach says, and he teaches Klala, the Ebesh is giving Klala, there's no such thing. Klala means Tshuva. So since the Pesach mentions everything, therefore it's Asher, it's with absolute certainty. That was the answer to that question. And furthermore, he added, Asher, Melash and Tainuk, as explained earlier at length. Now, the question was a Masha Kosov, uh, 10 lines in the bottom of, or less, of the end of the Mammy page, Kruf Tzadik Ches, a Masha Kosov, not rather, I bless you. So this is similar to what Chazal said, the Ebishta told Avraham that you will be, you will be a Bracha. So the Brachas are given to you that you can bless others. I'm not sure of the pshat here, we'll just read the words. is as opposed to exactly to what else? Hashpo is not. At any rate, exactly what's he contrasting this with? At any rate, it's melamaylo lamata. So who can give a bracha? Only the one that can. So the Ebishter gave the brachas to you. Now Avraham is granted the koyach to bless others. He seems to be saying, I don't know for sure, that the Ebishter is giving us bracha in such a way that we can bless the world, bless others. I don't know if that's what he means at all, but your interpretations are welcome. Finally, why it says, Lifneichem mashakos, Lifneichem aloshem pnimius. So, the question here was, What's before you? I give you the brachas. So before you, he answers, means meaning the pinimius and the shomer bound up with the pinimius shalomayla, which was the whole point of the maima, the two levels within Tainug, and that a yid connects to and is revealed and completes the pinimius at Tainug. And this is reflected in the Dovat Hashem which we're about to say. We say to the Abishter, Kamashakosov, Bakshu Ponai, seek my innards. Now, there's many explanations to this. One is, it seems to be saying here, is that we're telling the Abishter, stir our Panimiyas on the Shomer. While your days ask, Panecha Vayavakis, you stir my Panimiyas on the Shomer, and I will uh, seek your Panimiyas, the Panimiyas of the Abishter. So we asked Abishta to help us unlock and stir our previous Anishama. This other Taichan also in the Pasik is brought down in the memory. But but that's how he's saying it here. That Bakshapani Valya Deze, sometimes it's you'll see. Seek my Pinimius and you'll see that what am I what am I looking for? It's you. This is not how he's touching it here. It's Valya Deze. Well, I ask you, they wish to disturb the Pinimis on the and that will ena- enable me to seek your Pinimis. Shebeifen Kazet, so actually it's called Sin Avedah. This is how Avedah has to be, has to be Dafke from Pinimis on the Shoma. Hen Avedah Sasadikim, Hen Avedah Balichuva, both as he said before, im, both im, Ims, and this one embraces both Asher. So both at Sadik and Balichuva, it has to be the Pinimis. 41. Chaser Asiyum, the ending is missing, and for that matter, the next Maimah too. In the last three Maimahim, the end was missing. Okay, so the summary, or not the summary, just the overview of the Maimah. No, the, no, the previous one Maimah was not missing. It's Mugir. It's Mugir.
One before that, the first member of Yanch Vayelvech is also Chasr Asim. Okay, we forgive them. We certainly have no complaints. We're very grateful to the Manichim who wrote down the memorial. So, the overview of this Maimer is, I'll just read it to you from the Teichano in Yonim, where they write as follows. There's two levels to Shabbos, Shabbos Tato and Shabbos Ilo. Shabbos Tato is the ascent of all the Madregas to their source after the descent for the purpose of creation. In the six days of creation, analogous to the rest, the stopping of work and the rest that comes after Avayid and Yigir. Even though the Maido, there's no Yigir, there's no toiling, there's no exhaustion, Chas V'Sholem. However, the Ebishter's Ratzin is that there be a limit to the Spashtas of his Koiches and the Chidosh was that even Malchus, as it descends into Bria to create, and that's already descriptive and finite, it's also Be'etzim, infinite, so this too needs to be limited. So that is the stopping of the work, not the exhaustion, but the stopping of the work. And therefore, at the end of this is Pashtus, as it were, when he wants to create this and nothing further or more, as his will determined it. So this is then the Tainuk that began the, this is the lower Tainuk, the immediate Tainuk that he wants to have a dira, he wants to have a house. So this ascends, and this is the dogma to the Menucha after toil, as we said, standing outside your home after it's done, looking at it and saying, and having a deep satisfaction of the job completed. But that's the lower level of Tainuk, that's the Shabbos Tato, that's, you know, Friday night. Shabbos Ila is the Einik that comes from the Kavon Pneumius of the creation of the world. And that's the dira. What's the dira? The dira is, as he said, in the details of the home. And tif eres la'odam, it's where he's expressed. And as we added, it means living with soulmates and, and so on. This is like the oenik that a person has after he builds the house completely, kefir etzoinoi, and engages it. And this is asher tishmu, not im tishmu, lashen vadai, because certainly everybody is going to be mamshech, this oinig, lamaila, that's the other meaning of the word asher, lashen oinig, whether it's going to be through bracha or klala, one way or another, we're going to get there. And adarabe, there's the avid of klala, which is the avid of tshuva, which is even higher. And as he said in the course of the maimer, even the tzaddik has to do tshuva, there's both avidus, and as he said at the end of the maimer, both have to be done with pnimis and the totally invested. As ponecha, havaya, avak, avakish, Reflected in the Pasuk, Hashem Nochi, Al Pasuk, Noisen, Lifneichem Hayyim. Right, that's the overview. And now you will.